so today our topic is the law of conservation of momentum so in the previous video we were done about we were done with the momentum and it will like lecture of the momentum so in this video we will be discussing about the law of conservation of momentum so what is momentum in actually so momentum is basically the quantity of motion in any body quantity of motion in any body okay so that what is it is so it depends upon the mass and velocity okay so uh, the unit of this is the kilogram per mass or you can say that as a newton into second so law of conservation of momentum depend upon three things okay so number one is the isolated system isolated system and second one is the uh, elastic and inelastic and second third one is the change in momentum so first of all we will be discussing about the isolated system for example i am having a container here and here the gas molecules are there okay for example so a system where the external force which cannot be which cannot be uh, the external force cannot be applied okay uh, like uh, the external force cannot be applied in the system second mass cannot be exchanged in the system means that the uh, mass will not be moving uh, um, means outward and uh, outside mass will not be moving into the inside so mass will not be exchanged okay third one is the energy exchange energy exchange for example this molecule is having an energy this molecule will not be exchanging their energy to their this molecule and this molecule will not be exchanging this energy into the that molecule so energy cannot be exchanged this system is called the isolated system so as you guys all know that that hundred percent isolated system never exist okay never exist okay so this was about the isolated system okay so second one we are having the elastic and inelastic elastic and inelastic so what is elastic elastic means that the collision the collision in isolated system isolated system means there is a collision uh, in the isolated system okay uh, which means that uh, for example el the example of the elastic motion is the elastic substances which means that the rubber ball for example i'm hitting a ball on the wall the ball will be moving uh, backward with the on their position for example uh, i am stretching the rubber and if if i am uh, if i am holding a rubber and after that i am leaving the rubber it will be convert it will be like moving into the same position like rubber and ball which means that they they haven't changed their kinetic energy which will be equal to zero because they haven't changed their kinetic energy they are having a same momentum so that what is means that the the kinetic energy and momentum are conserved means they are having no change into that okay so both will be equal so that is called the elastic motion and elastic motion the example is the ideal gases okay in ideal gases there is more you can see the kinetic energy but like rubber and you can say the ball the molecules are you can say that the kinetic energy and, and momentum are not changed so that is called elastic motion if you're talking about the inelastic it is the opposite of the elastic what's mean what does it mean it means that non-isolated system you can say non-isolated system okay if a brick for example if a brick is a strike on the wall okay so it will be not coming back okay so that is the non elastic substance okay so here the momentum will be equal to zero but their kinetic energy will got change the kinetic energy will be got change because if the brake is not moving you can say that it is not moving backward if i am striking the uh, you can say the brick so it will be like uh, on the wall so it is like uh, it will be not coming back so their kinetic energy is 
changed so that is called the you can say that uh, the inelastic motion and the example of inelastic motion is a real gases okay real gases here the ideal gases and here the real gases here you can see they are now having the you can say the less kinetic energy okay because their kinetic energy is not you can say that here the the kinetic energy was or you can say that a uh, not change here the kinetic energy is changed that's why they are having the less kinetic energy so they are the two things which the law of conservation of momentum depends if you're talking about the third thing that is the change in momentum that is the change in momentum what does it mean it means that the law of conservation of momentum the third is the change in momentum it means that the law of conservation of momentum this the law of conservation of momentum is valid when isolated system is there this is the main point for example this is body 1 this is body 2 this body is having a velocity v1 this body is having a velocity v2 okay so here we can write that v1 is greater than v2 means that v1 v1 is having a more velocity than the v2 okay so uh, if if the you can say that these two body strike with each other if they these body are striking with each other so we can write here this m1 and m2 is having a negative impulse this will be having a positive impulse and this will be having a negative impulse and we can write that m1 will hit to the m2 and m2 will hit to hit to the m1 so we can write here that v2 is greater than v1 v1 okay how v2 v2 and v1 because their their velocity is hit hit to the v2 so this will be having more velocity so we can write here that v2 is you can say that having a more velocity to the v1 or you can say the u1 u2 is is having a more velocity than the u1 okay so here you can see that mass is same but velocity is changed okay so we can write here that uh, if you guys all know that uh, what is impulse impulse means that the there is a force but uh, there is a force but in the short interval of time so we can write that force multiplied by time is equal to the uh, you can say that uh, you can say impulse so uh, that is what it is so we can write here that f multiplied by t is equal to m1 u1 minus m1 um v1 that is equation number 1 that is vf multiplied by t is equal to v here you can see this is a positive impulse this is a negative impulse okay so here we can write m2 u2 minus m2 v2 that is equation number 2 okay okay so uh, here you can see that uh, here i am writing that if we are adding both equation so here we can write that m1 u1 minus m1 v1 plus m2 u2 plus not plus uh, minus m2 v2 okay so here you can see that we are we were having a positive impulse okay here we can write here that the uh, in this you can see that t is common so we have written t here and we are having two forces f and f so we can write here f plus f okay so we can write here m1 u1 will be same minus m2 you can say that the here you can see that here the impulse are same so we can write here m1 u1 m1 v1 plus m2 u2 minus m2 v2 so here you can see that here we are having first we are having positive impulse and second we are having negative impulse so plus minus equal to zero so the impulse is equal to zero so we can already write here that 
एम वन वी वन प्लस एम टू वी टू इज इक्वल टू द एम वन यू वन प्लस एम टू यू टू ओके सो हेयर यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव रिटन हेयर दैट प्लस वन इन द प्लस साइड एंड नेगेटिव इन टू द नेगेटिव साइड ओके सो दिस इज फॉलोड वेन द दिस इज द लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मोमेंटम ओके सो ये यू कैन सी द लॉसिटी इज चेंज मोमेंटम इज सेम सो दिस इज फॉलोड बाय द आइसोलेटेड सिस्टम एज वेल एज द इलास्टिक सिस्टम ओके सो लेट मी गिव यू द एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी आर हैविंग अ गन हेयर ओके हेयर द मास ऑफ द गन इज एट हंड्रेड के जी ओके एंड इफ यू टॉकिंग अबाउट द वी वन so that is equal to zero because this body or this is this gun in is in the this gun is in the rest okay this gun is in the rest if you're talking about the m2 or you can say the mass of the uh, bullet that is you can say that 440 g to convert into this this is the into the kg okay so if you're talking about the velocity v2 which is the velocity of gun that is or in the rest so we can write here this is in the zero and you if you're talking about the u1 u2 is equal to 20 meter per second means a gun of the bullet is moving with the 20 meter per second we to find the u1 we have to find the u1 so we can write here that the here we can write that there is the uh, equation of the that is m1 v1 plus m2 v2 is equal to m1 u1 plus m2 u2 okay so here you can see that we are having a equation that is m1 that is the law of conservation of momentum equation so we can write here that the m1 was we are having 800 and v1 was 0 plus we are we were having m2 that was 0.04 and v2 was 0 so here you can say m1 was 800 u1 what we have to find u v u1 and if you're talking about the m2 it was 0.04 and u2 was 200 so here you can see that it will be multiplied by 0 that will be equal to 0 plus 0 is equal to 800 u1 u1 plus if you are multiplying this so that is equal to 8 so we can write here that 800 u1 mine that here it is it is you can say that it will it was positive if it, it is moving in their side so it will be negative so u1 is equal to minus 8 upon 800 so we can write here the u1 is equal to minus 0.01 okay so that was the u1 okay so to verify this that is m1 v1 we are having same you can say that the equation m2 u2 so m1 v v2 and 1 was 0 here you can see it was 0 and if you are talking about this so it was equal to the for example this is was 800 and we were having a u1 that is 0. Point minus 0.01 plus 8 so it means that this is Minus eight plus eight is equal to the zero. If you are multiplying this after that, this is zero. So which means that momentum of bullet was same, but the velocity of bullet, which was incoming and going, that was same. You can say that bullet was the moment of bullet was same, but the moment velocity of the bullet was in this. the bullet uh, the velocity of the bullet was in the coming and in the going was same and the momentum was also same so this what what is it was to verify the you can say the question we can we can use this equation so today we have discussed about the uh, law of conservation of momentum